Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my home. I'm Eileen and today I want to show you this adorable pixie boy cut wig. You know, it's hot down here in the south and I have really been on the hunt for some cute short wigs for the summer. I like to wear a lot of short hair in the summer and I took this out of the box and put it on just like this and I fell in love with it. This is Ellen Villa Ever Mono in Champagne Rooted. I got this wig from Andrea at Wig Studio One, so thank you Andrea for sending me this wig to review for you today. I'm so happy to have the opportunity to show it to you because it is a winner. It really is. And ladies, I have a coupon code for Wig Studio One and I'll put it in the description box below and I'll also put it here on the screen. It is Crazy Wig Lady and if you'd like to use that coupon code to order hair from Andrea at Wig Studio One, use that and save 30% on your whole order. It's great. Now, I just want to remind you, I get nothing for that. If you use it, it has no effect on me. I don't get any kickback from that at all. It is strictly for my subscribers and to save you a little money and who doesn't want to save a little money. So again, I love this hair. I really do. I want to show you the color. I want to show you the inside of the cap. It's amazing. Uh, so just some topics I would like to talk with you today. I want to talk about the style, the color, the specs, the cap construction, and then we'll talk about some pros and cons. So first, let's talk about this style layered boy cut. You can call it a pixie, either one. I call it a kind of a boy cut because it's really short, isn't it? And But it is so beautifully layered. I want to show you the back. I love the back. As you know, I like a short nape like this that I can wear a collared shirt with. I don't have to worry about it rubbing on the collar. You'll get a long life out of this wig because you're not going to have any friction on it. But it has a beautiful nape. Really nice. Love all of the layering. Just look at all these beautiful layers. Now let's talk about this color, Champagne Rooted. I don't think I've had this color. I've seen this in longer wigs and it's beautiful, but I really like it in the short wig. It's different, but similar to my styles and colors that I wear a lot, but it's just a little different and I think I really like it. So up close, it is a beige blonde and a medium honey blonde. And it has some platinum blended highlights in there with these medium roots. And I like the roots on here. They don't just scream out at you, do they? They're really nicely blended. And you can just see that little hint of platinum with it blended in, just a tad. That gives, just brightens it up a little bit. This is a very nice color. And I have some comparisons too I'd like to show you. Okay, so I want to show you another Ellen Villa color. This is my Ellen Villa Open and multi, let's see, sand multi-rooted. I wear this all the time. You've seen me in it on Instagram many, many times. But I just want to compare these colors. Now you can see this is a little more ashy, has more highlights. But I'd just like to give you some color comparisons. Similar, very similar still. A little, a little more, like I said, brighter with the platinum highlights here. A little more highlighted than this one. Both, both beautiful colors. Okay, and then I want to show you, uh, this is my John Renault Mariska in Shaded Praline. And I'd just like to give you also a comparison with Shaded Praline. Again, more platinum compared to here. This is just a tad warmer. But still, very similar, very similar in color. So if you have this color, Shaded Praline, you might like to try the Champagne Rooted. You can see they are similar, but it's just a little different, and I'm, I'm starting to like different colors, and I really, really like this color. 
I like the bang on this, but this has a beautiful lace front. I want to show it to you. Look how well done. I think it's very pretty. Temple to temple, all the way over. Yeah, I like a bang, I, uh, but you could also pull this up and wear it off your face, but these are so cute. So let's talk about these specs. Front, 4.25. You can easily trim these two if they're too long for you, and they feel I have a pretty large forehead, so these are good for me, but you could easily trim these bangs. So the front of 4.25, crown, 5.5. Sides, 5, Nate, 2.0. Tons of layers. That is a good thing. I love these cute layered wigs. Yeah. You can do a lot with this. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do a lot of styling with a short wig because just adding a headband, pulling this off your face and putting a cute clip in it, barrette in it, you can change the look of this wig completely. Wear it two or three days in a row and people think you have a different wig every day. You really can change this up. Okay, I'm going to slip out of this because I really want you to see the inside of this cap. Okay guys, I slipped into my Ellen Villa Open um, again so I could just show you a little color comparison. This uh, again is multi-sand rooted and I want to just show you again Ever and Champagne Rooted. Just give you a little color comparison. So pretty. Okay, I want to show you the inside of this cap. Alright, 100% hand tied lace front and mono top, hand tied mono top, isn't that beautiful? Little seam here between, and look how beautiful and contoured this lace front is. Really nicely done. I think Ellen Villa does beautiful lace fronts. Okay, what I like about this, look at the ear tabs on this one. Has this polyurethane, really great for getting this to stick and to hold and not move. I've not seen this before. I've not had a wig that had this. I think it's genius, I love it. Open cap construction, lots of stretch, and look again at the extended nape with that strip. Hold it tight against your head. I, I really like that feature, I think it's nice. Very nice. Beautiful done. Ellen Villa really does beautiful caps, I think. Now, the only thing about Ellen Villa caps, you know, they are, say they're petite to average. I have a 21 and a quarter inch circumference, so a little smaller, and they fit me perfectly. But if you have a larger size head, keep that in mind. That might be a con for you on uh, this wig or Ellen Villa wigs. But for me, I think that's why I enjoy them so much is they, fit, they just fit me so well. Just another look at this beautiful champagne rooted. So beautifully done. You can see through this top, this mono top, how pretty is that? Really, really a nice wig, ladies. If you're looking for a good, really short summer wig, I don't think you can beat this one. Okay, I'm gonna slip it back on and we'll look at it one more time. Okay, ladies, I'm back in Ellen Villa Ever Mono. I just can't tell you how much I'm enjoying this little wig and how much I thank Andrea at Wig Studio One for providing me this wig to review for you today. And again, don't forget about that coupon code, uh, Crazy Wig Lady, to save yourself 30% off. Uh, you know, that polyurethane I was telling you about on these ear tabs, that is such a good idea. This thing is not moving. And, and at the nape. Great idea. Okay, let's talk about styling it just a little bit. Um, I'm just gonna put a headband on it because that's what I do. And I absolutely would wear a hairband with this. Just with a top like this, put on a cute white hairband, changes it up, makes it super summery. I think it's so cute. Also, of course, 
little John Renault styling cream, just a tad. I mean, I don't use more than that. And I like to rub it between my fingers and warm it up a little and then get in there. And I'm not shy about getting in there and working it in. <laughs> I like to piece it out. I like texture in my wigs. And in a short wig, why not? Just, I like to get texture in it just like I do my longer wigs. It just adds to it, I believe. I like that PC look. Don't forget, you can do it on the bangs. Piece them out a little bit. Super cute. You can give yourself some volume here. Yeah, I like that a lot. Now, if you don't have any of the texturizing cream, the Peace Out cream, you know, you can also just use a little bit of holding spray. I've done that many times as well. Spray a little in your hand and get pretty much the same effect. Do it on the ends. Also, we'll create a little texture that way. So there are several different ways to create texture. Yeah. Okay, also, having this beautiful lace front, what a plus. I would pull it up. If I wanted to just get that up off my face look, easy to do. With, like I said, just a little styling cream. You can pull it up off your face. And see, like I said, you could wear this several days in a row and it looks completely different. Just by the way, you just do a second of styling and you can see it's only taking me a minute to change it up completely. Or if I wanna put a little clip in it, gives it such a cute look too. Yeah, again, just a whole completely different look. You know, I love a wig that I can take right out of the box and put on and have to do very little, little to it. And this is one of those wigs, straight out of the box. Just play with it, get as much volume and texture in it as you can and you want to, or you can smooth it and make it a smooth, really boy cut smooth to your head too. It's a winner. It really is. It's a good one. Okay, ladies, that is my review of Ever Mono by Ellen Villa. I hope you enjoyed it because I loved making it for you, and I hope you'll consider this wig. And again, thank you, Andrea, at Week Studio One for providing it for me. And don't forget to use that coupon code. And I'll put all that information in the description bar below. I hope you'll join me again next time. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And also, uh, we have a Facebook group, group called Wig Wisdom. We'd love to see you over there as well. So until we meet again, remember, we're all in this together.